All right, back with another Quick Tip Tuesday, and today we are gonna dig into Lightroom's powerful sharpening tools and find that one tip that is going to change your sharpening game. If you don't already know this tip, you haven't used it before, poof, your mind's gonna be blown when you see it and see how simple it is. Before we get into it though, do me a favor, hit the like button below, subscribe for more videos just like this every single Tuesday, and then and then some other videos during the rest of the week. Do all the YouTubery that you do so well. And lastly, comment below, let me know if this quick tip helps you at all. If uh, if it does, tag me in your photos on Instagram. Use it, make cool images, put them on Instagram, and tag me in the in the description or comments. I wanna see what you guys are making. I, I like it. I like when you guys do that. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to see these things paying off. Okay, today we are gonna be jumping back into Lightroom and we're gonna address a comment that I received from somebody that was saying when they sharpened their images, they were just getting tons and tons of noise on the image. The whole image became grainy and, and they wanted to know what the heck to do. So let's dive into Lightroom here. And here we have those same images from our Oregon trip that we went on. And let's go into this image right here of Morgan and Eleanor. That is an adorable, adorable image. All right, we're gonna hop over to our develop module so we can make some edits here. And here we are in the develop module. We have all of our settings in place and we're gonna go down to sharpening. And the first thing I'm gonna do is hit option and reset sharpening so that we get all of our default settings. These are the default settings that will just be in there. As soon as you open an image in Lightroom, default settings for sharpening that is. Okay, and what our commenter was talking about, if we zoom in on Eleanor's face here, we'll even go to two to one. So we'll really zoom in. And then we'll just go over here, grab this sharpening. And we'll just start cranking it way, way, way up. And what you're gonna see in her skin on the on the big flat patches of nice baby skin is uh is is grain. It's garbage. Looks looks terrible. Also, if you go up somewhere like here, where the sky is, you see the sky has picked up that same just crazy amount of grain and noise and artifacting basically. And we'll go back to the sharpening slider, go all the way off. You see how nice and buttery smooth the sky is. Then we drag it all the way back up and you see it turns to poop. Okay, so how do we fix that? How do we how do we sharpen just the pieces that we want to sharpen and we don't sharpen things like, like the sky, which should not be sharp. Let's go back over here to our sharpening sliders. And again, we'll bring uh, we'll bring zoom all the way back down here to 40, which is the default. And we have this slider at the very bottom called masking. And a lot of people don't know what masking is and how to use this slider in particular, because when you when you drag it up and you stare at the image, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. You, you can't really tell that it's doing anything. And here comes your quick tip for this Tuesday. You are going to option or alt click the masking slider. So we'll go in here and hit option and then we're gonna click on the handle and look what happens. Our image turns shockingly black and white, a very weird seeming black and white. So if we go all the way down here to zero, the entire image is white. And then as we slide it up, more and more of the image turns black. So what's going on? When masking, white means apply the effect and black means do not apply the effect. So when I go down here and my masking is at zero and I start sharpening, what I'm actually telling Lightroom is sharpen everything. Doesn't matter what it is, just bleh, sharpen it all. And we know that we don't want that. So if I hold option and I click on that masking handle and I start sliding to the right, things start turning black and everywhere where it's black, will not receive that sharpening effect. So as I keep going and keep going and keep going, more and more of the image turns black. And to even show the effect better, we're gonna go in here on my beautiful wife's face. Honey, I love you, but this won't be flattering. <laughs> we're gonna option and click on that masking slider handle and you can see all the areas where Lightroom is seeing a little bit of contrast between pixels. It's seeing a fair bit of contrast right there and it's saying, do you want me to sharpen that? And while it's white, I'm saying, yes, go ahead and just sharpen it all. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn masking all the way down, sharpening all the way up. And you can see that every tiny little line and smile mark is all being sharpened. And if I hit option and I start dragging that mask to the right, 
We're gonna eliminate more and more and more. And all that's gonna be left is the most contrasty parts of the image, which which are the lines. It's the eyelashes, it's the, the nostril line right there, right in the teeth there, a bit of her hair. I want those things sharpened, but I don't want big patches of her skin sharpened. So if I hold option and I move this around, I can see down here, it's sharpening all of her skin and everything, and I move to the right. Now we are just get rid of that skin. Beautiful. So right now you can see at this two to one level that her skin is not receiving the sharpening effect. So as I, I'm at 150 on sharpening, if I go down, I go up, nothing is happening to the skin because we've masked it, we've made it black and told Lightroom, don't sharpen that part of the image. You'll also notice if we go back to the sky, the sky is no longer sharpened because it was eliminated in our masking. So let's keep sharpening at the crazy 150 level don't ever sharpen your image to 150, but this is uh, for demonstration purposes only. Again, option click and we drag it all the way down and we're gonna see, boom, the sky is gross. Option click and drag it up. And I can see now that I've eliminated the sky, I can let go. And now the sky is not receiving that sharpening effect. And let's click back on Eleanor's face. We'll kind of see the same thing happen. Go ahead and click an option and I go all the way down here. Everything's being sharpened. You see these crazy amount of artifacts on her face and just grain and bleh. That is not what my daughter looks like. Option, click, start to drag, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Only be left with her eyes and her nose and just those bits that I actually want sharp and 90 looks great. Boom, the only sharpening that's actually happening now is around the eyes, right along these lines on the nose and her lips, the bits that should be in focus and sharp in an image. But her skin, I don't want it to sharpen. And again, the 150 level is absurd, so we can bring it way back down here. I would say on this image, I would probably stop somewhere, somewhere around 60-ish. 60 looks good, I like that. It's nice and tack sharp on her eyes. You can see that Morgan's eyelashes even right here are nice and sharp. A bit of her hair that's in focus is nice and sharp. And that's a good looking image. I haven't degraded the image by adding sharpening. I haven't sharpened the entire image, giving that weird grain artifacty grossness, but I have said, hey Lightroom, only sharpen the bits that I want sharp and hitting option and then moving that masking slider around is gonna let you visually see exactly what is being sharpened in your images. And that is it, that is your quick tip Tuesday for the week. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope this helps you get sharper images in Lightroom and not not get all the funky, grainy, weird artifactness that, that you may have been getting in the past. Comment below if this helped you. If it did, also hit the like button. Super helpful for me. And hit subscribe. I will see you guys next week for another Quick Tip Tuesday. There will probably be another video this week as well because I'm really working hard to get up to two videos per week on this channel, just pumping out as much information as I can for you guys in my in my dream world, I would make three videos per week on this channel. Ha ha ha. I shoot photography full time as my real job and this is, this is kind of more my hobby right now. So three videos a week might be a little tough, but two, I think I can make happen. I think I can make a quick tip happen and then one other video every week. Either way, subscribe, follow along, and uh, I'll see you soon. <clears throat> Hodged. <clears throat> How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Much better. Ooh, I'm just parched. <laughs>